formula to being an icon. You just know one when you see one. And Heather Locklear is. No other star in TV history had a run of dramatic success like Michael Landon. For three decades, Landon was a dominant primetime presence on three hit series in a row. His unrivaled streak began in 1959 with Bonanza, when he first rode into America's hearts as Little Joe Cartwright. What about Little Joe? Do you think he'd make a nice husband for Miss Netta? Is that a bad idea? As Little Joe on Bonanza, I think he was the son that every father wanted. Man, I'm really proud of you! Bonanza's fabled 14-year run finally ended in 1973, Landon put his long experience in the TV Western saddle to good use the following season, bringing Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House on the Prairie novels to television. He was not only the executive producer of the show, he starred in the show. He wrote a large amount. I make this show just for people, people who uh, like to be moved, by softness, by, by love. The reason the show worked is he understood kids, and he was very emotional, and he did things because they were fun. Landon followed up Little House with the angelic Highway to Heaven, but Landon's third hit drama would be his last. Stricken with cancer, Michael Landon passed away in 1991. He did give us all this beautiful family, wholesome, moral television. Michael Landon was definitely an icon. He had this wholesomeness and this lovability that a lot of people never managed to achieve on camera.